folks, Wisteria Moon here, and today I'm going for a little change in scenery. That's right, starting off in the flag shop, place that, as you can all see, not too, too many jammers go to visit. I also decided to mix things up with a little hop, so hopefully you all are here for these monumental content changes. I'm getting real creative today, feeling real inspired, but anyways, hey guys. <laughs> so today I am going to be doing a little review video for you all of the brand new Animal Jam Artist Bundle, which is the bundle that comes along with your purchase of an Animal Jam membership in the month of July, which is basically a new program that Animal Jam HQ started to incentivize people to get memberships. At least that's what I'm assuming is the case. <laughs> Does this incentive actually work? Well, I have no idea personally. I mean, apparently it hasn't really worked for me because it's never gotten me to buy a membership, but that probably also has something to do with the fact that I just randomly get weeks worth of membership every time I log in from these refer friend codes. I still don't know how I'm getting so many people referring me when they sign up for Animal Jam because I don't even think I put my link anywhere, but you know, it's uh, it's fun. I can't really complain too, too much. But anyways, Animal Jam was basically kind enough to give me a little code for this membership bundle as they did with all the rest of the Jam Ambassadors. So I don't actually know if I'm the first person to make a video on this yet or not. I don't really know if the other Jam Ambassadors have already made videos on it, but you know what? Either way, guys, what can I say? I'm not that original, all right? And this bundle in particular is speaking to me because I don't know if I mentioned this, but it's an artist bundle. Bundle. So that means that all of the items in this bundle revolve around art and things, which is super fun for me because I used to be an artiste. I don't really do much arting these days, but it's always something I'll have an appreciation for. So I'm real excited to tap into this bundle. Anyways, before I get into it, I would just like to announce real quick that you should all stick around till the very end of this video because at the end of this video, I'm going to be announcing the winner to the giveaway that I hosted in my previous giveaway video, which I'll pop up on the screen right now. People pretty much watch my videos at this point just to see the giveaway winners so you know if that's you stick around to the end that shall be revealed and so then I will be hosting a new giveaway for all of you to enter in the comments of this video so yes you don't want to miss out on your opportunity to snag some rares and uh while we're at it I just like to remind all of you delicious folks that I recently started up a vlog channel called Wisteria Life and I'm really trying my best to hit 10,000 subscribers on the second channel where I post a lot of pointless vlogs and real life videos so far I'm already yet. A little over 8,000 subscribers, but really like to push it to that 10k mark. So go ahead and subscribe to that channel if you have not already. I would be most appreciative if you could all do that. Now, if there's one more tiny little thing that I could implore you all to do, that is to head on over to my website, www.wisteriaworld.com. Because as you can see, it encountered a little bit of a redesign. So if you scroll down here under the shop merge tab and click on the Wisteria Moon button, you now have instant access to all of the latest and greatest Wisteria Moon merch which includes a ton of spicy brand new products. And if you click on this Wisteria Life tab on the homepage and then click here to enter the blog, you'll find that under my most recent blog post, there is an exclusive buddy request giveaway opportunity for all of you to enter in the comments of the blog. So be sure to check both of these out, but the links will also be at the top of the comments of this video and at the top of the description of this video for your convenience. But anyways, now that all the self promos out of the way, because yes, I myself am a Grady Jammer and as well. Let me hop into the main point of this video by redeeming my artist bundle code. So what I'm going to be doing right now is clicking this little gear button or the settings tab on Animal Jam and clicking this little redeem code button. Now I'm pretty sure that how this bundle typically works is you automatically get it when you buy or redeem a membership code during this month. But again, as I mentioned before, I've not bought a membership so I just have the peer code that I'm going to enter. So let me just uh, paste that right about now and hit the little continue button. And now we've got a little parole Mo gift, my personal favorite thing to see pop up on my screen on Animal Jam. So let us go ahead and click to get our gift. And our first item is Gleamer. Ooh. I mean, I'm not really sure if this is actually the most exciting thing because I'm pretty sure I already have a lemur. But, you know, that's that's definitely cool if you have not caught up with your Animal Jam animals and do not yet have your own lemur. So let us go ahead and accept that. A lemur has been added to your inventory. You can also create a new lemur at any time. Amazing. Thank you, Animal Jam, for that. And so now let's click to get our next gift. Oh, a painter's tail. Now, this is definitely not something I have. I have a feeling that this is going to be a full outfit set because Animal Jam been really enjoying making outfit sets lately, both on the desktop game 
and on Play Wild, so let us accept that. The Painter's Palette, and we've also got Painter's Smock. That reminds me of a clown shirt for some reason. My inventory is full. Wow, what an excellent, excellent time for that to happen. Oh my goodness, I need to start uh, paying a little more attention to this stuff. Apparently. I guess we can get rid of this stuff. I mean, I don't really care. I don't even know how I got 90% of these items, to be honest. I barely even know what's in my inventory these days. I need to do a clean out real bad, but I just have not gotten to it. I guess we're gonna have to sacrifice this glorious turkey hat for the cause. You know what? It's worth it though, folks. It's worth it. And we've got our painter's necklace and our painter's hat. That's looking spiffy. And we've also got an art gallery den. Man, that is some extravagant stuff. Of course, I already do happen to have this done, but you know, maybe, um, maybe it'll just add a casual a little den inventory slot, which would be really nice. And we got some painters paintings perfectly ambiguous title. Really dig that little cat emoji there though. And we've also got a painter's brush collection, which seems pretty spicy. A painter's sketching table. A painter's paint station. I feel like I am going to gradually lose my ability to say the word paint throughout the rest of this video. Painter's archway and a painter's rug and a painter's lamp. This totally isn't getting redundant at all. Painter's window because, you know, painters just have all their own stuff like this, evidently. Painter's coffee table and a painter's ottoman. Oh my goodness. <laughs> painter's chair holy cow a sofa too and a masterpiece token oh heck yes that is some riveting stuff right there another masterpiece token man and another how many of these do we get we're already oh my goodness that is our fourth masterpiece token our fifth masterpiece token and you've earned a pet congratulations wow i am feeling quite amazed right now do i already have a lemur's pet i don't even remember i think that's the saddest part i i don't even remember if i have a pet lemur or not for some reason i mean the orange was a deep fall color, but I'm actually kind of digging it. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna stick with this orange and black aesthetic, and I guess we'll go with, uh, these eyes. Something is very, very intrinsically unsettling about these eyes. This kind of looks like the face of straight murder right here, but, you know, let's just go with it. Oh, wow. This, this isn't getting any better, is it? I mean, I thought I've had a pet lemur, but, like, I guess I forgot how creepy this pet is. Um, hmm. I guess we'll go with this. And, hmm, what seems to be the craziest? Aha, yes. That for jutting out the sides, that definitely looks a little insane. And yeah, we're gonna go with these crazy ears. We're just gonna be spooky as heck today. We'll let us name this guy Orange because we're unoriginal as heck. And uh, hmm, gotta pick something weird. Something weird to compliment it. You know what? Actually, how about this? Orange genius. I do feel like this lemur would make a good evil genius. All right. Orange genius loves herbs, climbing walls, and has a peaceful personality, which is a major contradiction to the look that we've chosen. But you know what? I like it. I like that, uh, that contradiction. Oh my gosh. I don't know why, but I was expecting the lemur pet to be bigger. I feel like it's actually, uh, it's kind of small in comparison to some of the more recent animal jam pets I've seen lately. I'm hot. Notice me. Sorry, but there's only room for one hot jammer in town. All right, so I'm actually gonna go to an empty room. I'm probably gonna get followed, but you know what? That's that's all right. Comes with the job, folks. Anyways, I probably should be reviewing the brand new bundle items, but I kind of have this strange urge to dress up my pet first. So I'm gonna take a little detour and dress up my pet lemur. These are very tempting, all very tempting. I feel like that mask looks pretty terrifying and same with this. Okay, now we're getting into a really scary look. Oh my goodness, the knife. <laughs> that's, um, yeah. I don't really think Animal Jam intended on players being able to make such a terrifying look with the lemur pet, but that definitely looks like, I don't know, that, that just looks sketchy as heck. I think we're gonna go with it. Guess I'm feeling real creepy and edgy today. Buy this outfit. Oh heck yes. I'm really, really digging that sword action. Anyways, now that we've got our pet criminal underway, I collect famous buddies. Really? That's all I am to you? A collectible? I am so, so offended right now. I'm not a collectible item, all right? You can't just add me to your buddy list like that, okay? I'm not a bragging element. I swear, I feel like that's half the reason people want to be my buddy anyway. Anyway, they just want to be like, OMG, look at this wisteria moons, my buddy. And you know what? No, that's not how it rolls. I'm a very, very exclusive jammer. <laughs> no, just kidding. Honestly, being my buddy is pretty pointless because I don't really log in all the time. So I don't know. There are much cooler things you can have, you know, like like spikes and rares. Anyways, let me go ahead and add my little lemur pet to compliment my lemur animal. And let us go ahead and try on this painter's outfit because we're just gonna bundle ourselves out today. Hmm, some more thoroughly terrifying eyes. I like it. You know what, we'll do like a little twinsy kind of thing. Oh wait, what? No, you can't make the underfur white. That's so frustrating. I wanted to be twinsies. You know what, this is 
is about the closest I can get to it. Sadly, but at least we can do those eyes. And now we just need a little green pattern. I guess that's technically the color. It just looks strange because the underfur is, uh, it's not white, it's gray. Yeah, this seems to be about as close to twinning as I can get, sadly. I don't know why, but I've literally been so hyper-focused <laughs> on my pet and animal, which I've already bought in the past, that I haven't even had time to review the actual new items in this bundle. So yeah, I'm gonna be doing that now. First of all, let me lock my den. I don't really feel like listening to the screaming about buddies right now, because that tends to happen. All right, so let us switch to our art gallery den. Again, this den is technically nothing new. The lemur pet, the lemur animal, and the den are all old items, but it's definitely something useful to have if you are just joining Animal Jam as a member, because it's basically like a free handout of some diamond shop items, so that's pretty cool. Anyways, this outfit, hmm, what are my thoughts? Well, I think the painter's tail is a bit excessive, but that's probably just because the lemur animal's tail in general is huge. But I'm I'm really digging that hat and I don't know the the rest of the look is just uh, I'm kind of indifferent to it I really just like the hat I think it's cute as heck and we look very colorful not really in a good way necessarily because I didn't really choose a look to complement this outfit probably look a lot better if I changed my colors and pattern a little bit but I like it I'd rate it a solid uh I don't want to give it anything too too high because it's definitely not one of my favorite outfits but we'll go with a 6.5 out of 10 all right I feel like that's a fair fair evaluation but now let me give some of these brand new painters items a glance. So the cool thing about these member bundles is that they all come with exclusive item sets. I wouldn't really care about them if it was just like, oh, okay, take this free pet animal and den because I already have most of the latest and greatest pets, animals, and dens, and it's no exception for this lemur bundle. But I do enjoy the fact that they give you a whole outfit and den item set that you can't get anywhere else except for this bundle. I think that that's a pretty great incentive to be honest, because I think that actually brings up the values of these bundles a little bit. Because basically only people that get memberships during this time have access to these bundles. So that makes them fairly exclusive, you know, depending on how many people get memberships, of course. So first thoughts, uh, the archway, it's looking pretty swell. I feel like it matches the aesthetic of the artist gallery done pretty well, which I appreciate. And let's pop in the rest of our stuff. All right, so we've got our painter's desk, which I suppose is best fit to the corner. Same with this counter space. Yeah, I think we're going to be putting this alongside the wall so that we'll basically have a little painter's area, theoretically. And, hmm, we can put our paintings next to that. Got some whips over here, works in progress. And then I feel like the table, this looks more communal, so this should probably go, like, in the center here. Yeah, I think I like that placement. It's fairly decent. And, hmm, yeah, I feel like this should be more of, like, a workroom. So we're going to want a window here, give it some light, even though that literally does not make any sense at all because there's a wall behind it but you know what whatever it, it'll be a magical window and let's see what else have we got all right so the rest of our stuff is more like living area type of stuff so we'll make a separate living room area i'll we'll have our couch and chair kind of angled like so and i think we'll Hmm. Yeah, we'll put the ottoman next to the chair. I'm still not entirely sure what ottomans are about, to be honest. Um, I know that's kind of ridiculous. I, I feel like they're actually supposed to be more like footrest type of items, but I don't know. I'm just doing my thing here today, folks. And we've got a little coffee table, so we can go ahead and put that in front of the couch. And we'll put our lamp in the corner here, so we've got some nice illumination. Actually, I think I'm going to be going with more of this type of setup. There we go. I like that. And last but not least, our snazzy little rug. I guess we can put that... Hmm. I guess we can put that under the coffee table, like so. And yeah, that's looking like a pretty spiffy living area setup. So we actually essentially made two rooms from this den bundle set, which I'm a huge fan of. You know, I, I love how much leeway and versatility you get with this bundle set. And I'm just going to be placing my little dire wolf tapestry in here as a decorative piece. Not that it was part of the bundle or anything, but you know, gotta rep those dire wolves. I should also probably change the walls and floors. Actually, this is one of the few dens where I think that I like the natural wall better than any of the wallpapers that you can place in yourself, mainly because they're just so colorful. I guess we'll switch to this because I do feel like this floor aesthetic goes really well with the new painter's bundle, and uh, yeah, I dig that. But other than that, I think we're set. But honestly, one of the most unique things about this particular bundle is these masterpiece tokens. Now, I don't really happen to know exactly what these masterpiece tokens are worth. I mean, first of all, I think they're just kind of strange and like fun to place in your den as decoration pieces because, I don't know, they're 
they're just kind of ominous floating coins. I mean, why wouldn't you want to decorate your den with something strange like that? But this is actually one of the most useful handouts because masterpiece tokens are really hard to come by. You pretty much only get them whenever Animal Jam decides to give them out, usually for like holidays and such, but you can't actually buy them as far as I remember. So if you are someone who does not have membership too often and you really like making masterpieces, I would highly, highly recommend that you take advantage of this bundle deal because then once your Animal Jam membership runs out, you have five masterpiece tokens that you can use to create masterpieces as a non-member because right now, the only way that you can make masterpieces as a non-member is through the masterpiece tokens. It's also pretty useful if you are a member and you've run out of diamonds because I'm pretty sure that you still need to pay diamonds even as a member to make masterpieces. If we're going to rate the bundle as a whole, I definitely have to give this one like an 8.5 out of 10 because I think that the addition of masterpiece tokens is just a really special, unique opportunity for a lot of jammers and I think that the painter's items are super pretty and you also get an animal pet and den. So that's like a heck ton of stuff. This is definitely one of the better member bundles that I've seen Animal Jam come out with in a very long time. Alrighty folks, so now it is that point of the video, which you all have been so patiently and eagerly waiting for. The giveaway stuff. So our winner from the last giveaway is this person with the username Snowy T. And of course they followed all of the rules, which were to provide their thoughts on the update and also be subscribed to my channel. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and look them up real quick and compose a little jamogram action. Attach the prize of the long red rare spiked collar. And I'll say congrats. Woo! Congrats to you, Snowy T. Let's give a little summer fun jamogram. Oh, heck yes. And now the next giveaway is going to be for this short black rare spiked collar. A pretty snazzy rare item if I do say so miso. So in order to enter this giveaway, all you must do is number one, leave a like on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. And number three, leave a comment below containing your Animal Jam username and what you think the theme of the next membership bundle should be. I'm pretty sure I've already made people comment ideas about this before, but I'm doing it again. I guess that that just about wraps it up for this little Animal Jam member bundle review video. So as always, I really hope that you all enjoyed the video. And with that, thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!